Hey guys, this is going to be kind of a, an update video to the one I shot about uh, finally a day off mower maintenance. Um, for those of you that commented on the different back tires on the stander, well, I did some research on that and come to find out there was two different options. You could either get the two 8-inch wide wheels in the back or you can get the two 10-inch wide wheels in the back. Um, which, that was, uh, I don't know how it ended up with one of each on there. Must have been the guy that, uh, had it before me did that. But, so anyway, I, uh, that's it. That brings up another part is looking into it. I found out that you can, um, well, let's start it. The problem is, is Great Dane was bought out by Aaron's and then bought out by Gravely. So they're not even making those Great Dane standards anymore. Mine is a 2007 Super Surfer Series 2. Um, but you can still get certain parts. It's, it's not that easy to get some things. Um, a lot of their parts are interchangeable with the right standards, which helps. Um, but there are a lot of different places, mostly online, uh, where you can get things you need for different parts and whatever um the good thing for me is i've been working on them for a long time and i can pretty much fix whatever i need to without too much trouble the problem is finding a dealership for great dane because there isn't any um, not in my area anyway because they were bought out um but at the same time you can still get some of the parts to a gravely dealership for great dane but anyway, so obviously I want two tires the same size on the back of that stander. And so I started looking for a rim, uh, either another 8-inch rim or another 10-inch rim. Um, and that's where, that's where I ran into the problem where things weren't going to be interchangeable with right because the right standards all list their rims, same size, but with a 5-lug bolt pattern. And the standard has a four lug bolt pattern. So that kind of screwed me there. Um, I did find one place online that still sells them. And this is where those mob run pricks get you. You can buy the rim entire assembly together for like 213 bucks is what I found it for. Which... I don't want them both together. Uh, if I did go with the wider one, I'd have to order another uh, another 10 inch wide tire. But like you've seen in the video, I already had two eight inch tires. So I was gonna go with the thinner tires, which I found the uh, thinner tires in the back when you're mowing an incline, which a lot of people say standards won't mow an incline. That's not true. I've done it many times and uh, you can do it. I guess it just depends if you want to take the chance or not, but I got a lot of properties with inclines and it has to be done. So one way or the other, I'm going to do it. Um, and I'm going to try it to see what my mowers are capable of instead of just buying different mowers for hills. Um, but anyway, it will climb it. And I have found that the thinner tires will actually hold a hill a lot better. The wider tires tends to let the mower kick out on my zero turn and on the stander. It lets it kick right out. Um, so I wanted a uh, thin tire if I could get it. So anyway, that brings me to, they list a price online for just the tire at like $60, $65, something like that. Or just the rim, I mean $60, $65, but then they don't let you order it. They want to sell it all as one tire and rim together. So what I did is I started scanning eBay. And I found on eBay... A couple of people that had them used still in great condition they're practically brand new um, they were just selling them so I found one in New Jersey and the guy wanted 30 bucks for it with like $12 or two day shipping so I ordered it it should be here tomorrow maybe